You have any questions about anything I just said? No. I mean, I just feel like it should be less. What am I going to be left with to party with? Like, what am I going to do? Um, I don't know. Maybe pick up some extra shifts or work a part-time job. Or take care I of your really kids. I really don't. You know, if if she doesn't want to take care of her kids, I really don't care at this point. I just want to make sure he gets some financial assistance. I mean, but he makes enough money. And I mean, you make enough money too. So, again, do you have any questions about anything I just said? No. Welcome, welcome, welcome again, actually, back uh, to this side of YouTube. This is TOV. And before we actually continue, I want you guys to go and smash that like button. And then click on the subscribe button as well and the notification bell. I know some of you watch my videos, so let's start by doing that. Today's topic. So today we're going to talk about a support judge, support court judge, I think it's Vanda or something like that. I think it's Vanda. Uh, so far, she's been doing a great job at applying the law lawfully because <laughs> some of them don't do it like that but she's been good so far to both men and women making sure everything is done with equity and equality so um without much talking let's get into the topic for today uh bad mother basically start this case before the court what's going on okay your honor um <clears throat> i'm want to sue her for child support because you know I, my kids are always with me and oh notice first thing he mentions child support you don't often hear men suing or putting their wives or their women on child support this is not something that we do it's mostly the other way around but this time I wonder if we have a case, because that's not something that's usual. Here for more hours, and and even when she's not at work, she's just never home. Uh, I don't know where she is. She doesn't call us. She doesn't call our kids. Uh, my kids are always wondering where she's at. And uh, you know, I myself, sure, she can do what she 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 wants as long as she lets me know where she is for her own safety. But my kids always wonder where she's at. They always at, for days at a time. She's never home. And we we broke it off several weeks ago, and only with my income alone, we can, I can't really just do it with just uh, me and my kids, uh, especially that one has autism. I've always got to take her to the doctor, and whatnot. And she and for these past three weeks, I have not seen or heard uh, from her, uh, even as so much as trying to help out with the kids or anything like that. Uh, so I just I can't get. I'm surprised she's even here at court today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> did he just say did he just say he's surprised she's even at court today so maybe maybe it's because she's I don't know well, what does she do though and why is she not around so um that oh all right so that already is a surprise because you know usually the mother is always around um the mother's always around it's usually the father that's not there but this time this time 
the father is there, but the mother is not. So, what do we do? I don't know. But, you know what? Let's keep it going because we might find better clues as to why. Uh, she's either on painkillers or sometimes I'll find needles around and, and whatnot. So I know she works at a hospital, so she's got to get the drugs from there. Whew. Okay. Is there anything else you want me to know? Uh, being, I just hate that it's really around the kids. The kids find it before I do most of the time. Oh, my. Yes. Ma'am? I mean, I, I'm not oh. intel from, but that's obviously not the true. kids. I okay, so if you, you know, so here's what, and actually, this is what he just mentioned. It's not actually, it's actually not um, false. I remember when I used to work in a school, um, I decided to just um, take your, go back and then do something different just for the fun. Uh, and I said, my friends were like, hey, you could be a great teacher one day. I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to do that, let me just start with substitute, substitute teaching instead. So I did that for like three or four months, I think five months I know I started in October and I ended in March and I got a different uh, another job after that but some of the kids even in elementary school would bring drugs to the school and how did they get the drugs their parents they would get the drugs from their parents um, drawer or the you, you get the point. The parents were reckless to leave the drugs around so the kid can actually just get it. They don't have to search for it. It's just there. So if that's the case, what he just claimed right now wouldn't be false either because it happens all the time. It is not the first time it happens. It happens already. So let's keep it moving. Let's see what else she has to say. I mean, I mean, are you saying your kids are liars? I mean, they could be. I mean, I'm not sure. I you're, mean, you, all, you're not sure because you're not around that much. Um, I am around. I just, I just have to work all the time. I mean, it's not my fault that you know saving lives isn't important to him. No, I believe it is important to him. I don't think that's what he's saying. He's saying that you're not contributing anything. I mean, I am, though. Like, I feed them or sometimes, and you I feed them. Sometimes? You'd agree with me that that's your responsibility, right? She, um, she brings them fast food and leaves. Oh, okay. So, this is something... Uh, I don't get it. This is something that women do a lot these days is <laughs> and they t they talk about men not not actually wanting to so called step up. You know, they talk about men not stepping up when in reality most of the time the men all the one doing most of the work, you know. So we go unnoticed in the background because we're always doing things. And it is actually very funny how she, the, mother, the supposed mother, um, she mentioned she feeds the kids sometimes. So sometimes. Now, I don't, I don't, I don't know if she, maybe she needs to seek therapy. Because if you feed your kids sometimes, oh, I don't get that part. Like, if they are with you, how do you not feed them all the time? But, you never know. Let's see what else she has to offer. Okay, but it's food though. But you don't sit there and spend quality time with your kids. You say, here, here's food, and leave. Wow. 
I mean, the tablet works just fine. They can just eat and watch the tablet. Like, why is that a problem? Because so you want to raise a child off of a tablet? You you think that's I mean, okay? they have educational stuff. I don't see what's wrong with it. Like, I need to go to sleep at some point in time. Interesting. Me, personally, myself, I sit there with my kids and I open a book with them and I help them with their homework. I feed them. Uh, I'm not much of a good cook, but I do what I can to put food on the table. You, so, um, and you wonder why people talk about or trying to promote single motherhood. You know, yeah, man, where would I start on this one? So, Imagine, imagine as a mother, you are raising children based off of a screen. And you don't expect that child to become what in the future? Bad? Most, most parents don't even check to see what their children are watching. I hope he wins this case and I hope they give him full custody. Yeah, I hope that actually because he he needs they need to give him full custody because she is not and I'll probably make it even worse for her half her per half to make sure that that she lose half of her paycheck on child support. That's what I would have done. But let's move on. I want to spend time with them. I lose, it doesn't matter if I lose sleep over it. I mean, that's why I went to overnight because I want to spend time with my kids. That's what fathers I do. I went to overnight. His shift to As he should, he's a dad. Kids. As you should, you're a mom. The audacity. Oh, I mean, but I Lord. have a I more mean, important job. I mean, I mean, how many times are you going to say that? I mean, you have the audacity <laughs> to say that he's a dad and he should do these things, but you're the mom and not doing these things. Right. He changed his shift. Why can't you? Because I've had, it's inconvenient I've actually, to me. I've actually heard a couple times to where she says, I gave birth to him. It's your job to take care of him. <laughs> you believe that? Yes. Interesting. Wow. No, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. She needs therapy. You are going. She needs therapy. <laughs> um, you know, Kevin Samuel, Kevin Samuel's been, Kevin Samuel's mentioned a lot of women these days are not fit to be wives. Well, let me add to that. A lot of women today are not fit to be mothers. Like, what? No. No going to financially support these children and I'm going to make sure of it today oh. and you may want to look into trying to do a shift change yourself so you can spend some time with the kids I mean obviously I can't court order you or force you to spend time with them but you should want to spend time with the kids and I mean considering that one of them has autism you should want to spend more time with your kids I mean I get it, but it's too much work having a kid with autism. That's why I just leave it to him because he's better suited for that. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I'm not about to do this game with you. Since you left a month and a week ago, have you given him any money for the children? Nope. I don't need an explanation either. It's a yes or no. No. Nope. Oh. Okay, thank you. All right. She's actually asked oh. for money instead of giving. You are. Uh and then you have the nerve to ask for money and the kids are with him? <laughs> I mean, he has an obligation to give me support. You have, a, you know what? Oh. I'm not about to play with no. you. You came here to waste my time no. because you have the same obligation no. to your kids. He should not be paying you anything if the kids are with him majority of the time. If they're living with him, 
If he is the primary parent, he is tasked with the daily duties of caring for these kids. He shouldn't pay you anything, ma'am. And it is ridiculous that you believe that he should. And this is the thing. Preach. Here's the thing. Um, to all the women out there who think that um, it is a good... Trust me, there is no man on earth who wants to be a single dad. Well, unless the mother dies. Nah. That's not one thing we like. You know why? Because stuff like these we don't like to do. But but it is necessary that if any man who is a primary parent they need to do this. Hey, if it is offered by the government, by the system, you use it because the women will not be afraid to not use it or they'll use it and try to cheat the system. So men, use it. If it's yours, take it. But you know what? Let's see what else you have to say. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. This is what we're going to do. How much money you make a year? 60000 Okay, $60,000. All right, health insurance. That's about the, I just have the individual. He has a family one under his plan. So I just yes. pay 80 every two weeks. Okay, health insurance. Is it private health insurance? Is on the children under Medicaid? What are it's we doing? It's Medicaid. Medicaid, yes. okay. So, so not really you're going to have to pay that back to Medicaid, just FYI, unless you want to put them on private health insurance which I don't see why you would have a problem with it. You're a nurse. You have access to private health insurance, right? Yes. So why did you just get an individual plan when you have a family? That um, was a question. Because it's his job to take care of them, and I shouldn't have to say You know what? Money. Don't say that again about what his responsibilities are and what his job is because you're a mom. <laughs> Period. I mean, but I didn't and sign up times, for it. Like, countless times I've told her, yes, it is my job to take care of, uh, of our children. And you're doing that. And and I'm doing well beyond. Uh, She's not uh, disputing that you're doing that. Yes. Nope. And I feel but like you're I'm not doing your part. I feel like I'm always not doing enough for my kids. I mean, but and you only also forced me to have the half. kids. Like, I don't know why you're doing Wait, what? that. Because. You don't want to have your kids? I mean. Wait. How did the men force you to have the kids? Oh, isn't it? my body my choice anymore look at this womanist like when i was pregnant i told him i didn't want him because i wanted to go party and like he was just like no we got this we got this and like how was it my fault he wanted them i didn't want them so but you kept no the first we we've talked about having kids and we've wanted kids i know but, but like she when got we were pregnant, older once she got pregnant right and she knew she couldn't do what she needed anymore or really what she wanted anymore uh then it was just it was just oh this baby's really an inconvenience to well, to, to our lives i mean but you know this what child like support party. payment is about to be <laughs> is about to be an inconvenience to you as well because you're going to pay child support whether you wanted them or not is beside the point you had them they are here they are your responsibility just as much as they are his responsibility. So, $60,000 a year. <laughs> I have your gross set at $5,000. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, did she just say he forced her to have the baby? Hold on. Is it this country promoting abortion? So, how could the men force you to have the baby when you could have just gone to go, which you could have just gone to any of the Planned Parenthood and get an abortion, like who are you trying to fool? People talk about my body, my choice. Hey, how could he force you to keep the baby? Hmm? How? Oh man, stuff that you hear in a in a court case. I kind of want to get in, 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 a, in a court one day so I can be there and listen to this nonsense myself. Let's move on. Dollars, 
your net is $4,101.87. Okay. Um, Medicaid reimbursement based on 9% of your gross is $450. Do you think you can get health insurance through your employer that's cheaper than that for the children? I mean, I guess. I don't know. You don't want to look into it? Not really. We work oh. for the same company. Yes, she does. Oh, okay. So this is what we'll do. You just go ahead and pay that, and you can roll your eyes all you want to. I can roll my eyes, too. <laughs> We're just going to have you reimburse Medicaid that full $450. So that brings your monthly child support obligation for two children to $1,025 plus the $450 Ooh. reimbursement to Medicaid for $1,475. Now, it looks like dad also mm -hmm. requested for you to pay back pay for that month yes. and a week that you left and haven't given the children anything. I'm right. going to grant his request. Amen. So you have arrearages in the amount of $1,475. That's to be paid at $25 a month. Mm. So your monthly child support obligation, including the back pay, is $1,500. You have any questions about anything I just said? No. I mean, I just feel like it should be less. What am I going to be left with to party with? Like, what am I going to do? Um, I don't know. Maybe pick up some extra shifts or work a part-time job. Or take care I of your really kids. I really don't. You know, if if she doesn't want to take care of her kids, I really don't care at this point. I just want to make sure he gets some financial assistance. I mean, but he makes enough money. And I mean, you make enough money too. So, again, do you have any questions about anything I just said? No. Okay. You have any questions, sir? No. Okay. Well, if there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor. Wait, did she just say what is she going to have left to party? And she's a mom? Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop it right there. Ooh. I'm gonna stop it right there so don't forget to comment to like and subscribe tell me what you think about this to to the mothers out there tell me what you think about this comment like subscribe this is again TOV the open bear tv until then i'm out